Hello, I hope you're well. Um, we had a lovely weekend. We managed to fit in our first camping trip of the year. It was really nice to spend time, just the four of us together, um, and to get a nice hit of fresh air. I think actually I might have got a little bit too much fresh air. I think the uh, rather cold open air shower that I had on Saturday morning might have pushed me over the edge because I feel like I'm coming down with a cold this week now. But never mind, it was still good. It's always nice when you get back from camping to get back into your bedroom and to be back in your own bed. And it got me thinking about bedrooms and how we have made them welcoming spaces in our home. Up until Christmas, um, the twins actually shared a bedroom. Uh, they've been more than happy doing that. We never found that they woke each other up when they were babies. They just got used to each other being in there and I think it was good for them to have company. But since they started school and they're in different classes and we're really sort of encouraging their independence, they have different friends now, different interests. We thought that it was probably time for them to have their own space. We'd also thought ahead and bought bunk beds for their old bedroom, um, but the bunk beds separate into two single beds because we thought that that would probably need to separate them at some point in the future. We were really short of storage, didn't have enough um, space for all their toys, for their clothes. But obviously furnishing two rooms at once is quite expensive, so we needed to keep the cost down as far as possible. We had a good look at IKEA and I really liked the look of the Nordly range. It's quite simple, it's quite minimal, and I think um, it allows you to accessorize it, to give it a really good, different look, so I thought, it had quite a lot of longevity. But what I wanted to do was to give those Nordly pieces a sort of more fitted and designer look. And in Esme's room, she absolutely loves colouring, writing, reading, unlike her brother who's a bit more wow all over the place. Um, so I really wanted her to be able to have a desk in her room. So I thought we could get two or maybe three pieces of the Nordly furniture, butt them right up next to each other and then use some wood to clad the pieces so that they look like one integral unit rather than separate ones and also leave us enough space to build a desk at the end. And that's exactly what we did. We chose a tall chest of drawers unit to give her loads of space for um, putting away all her clothes. And then I chose a smaller, lower drawer unit because I thought it could act as like a little um, nook, reading nook that she could actually sit on. So we pushed both of those right up together and then Ben went off to Wicks to get some plywood which he then used to clad the side and the top and then back down the side across the top and then he built in a desk at the end. I love the plywood uh, with the white units because it adds a little bit of warmth to the room and is a little bit of a more modern element. Obviously we've given it a really good sand down so there's no splinters or anything and then we've built in her desk at the end and it's got a panel at the back so that she can uh, put up on there any pictures that she's done, any photographs that she wants to display. To secure the plywood to the units, um, he obviously measured and cut the pieces to size and then while the drawers were out of the units, you could put the plywood up against the sides and then drill from the inside of the unit out. He had checked that the screws were the right size so they wouldn't come right through the plywood, but they went in enough to secure it in place. So it's a pretty simple IKEA hack really. You just need to be able to measure and cut your ply and then use um, a drill to screw the planks onto the units. But I think it looks really effective and it's definitely given Esme's room a more pulled together look. So I'm going to go off and get myself a Lemsip now. If you haven't seen my other videos, check them out and I will see you again soon. Bye!